Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here. Question for you. When you're hitting short game shots and you're around the green, do you just pick a club without looking at where you want to land it, the lie, and what the situation in front of you is? Because if you're that person, you need to stay to the end of this video because I'll explain why that might not be the best way to go about playing your short game shots. Reason number one, what's that? A foot, two foot between these two golf balls, one on the fairway, one in the rough. Ball on the fairway, you're gonna catch lower on the face. It's gonna come in a bit lower. It might have a bit more spin. Ball in the rough, you might hit higher on the face. It might pop up and it might run out a bit more. Picking your club before working out what lie you've got and how it will react on these lies is crazy. Make sure you're analyzing how your ball's lying and then pick your club for that situation. So I've got my landing spot that I wanna land it on and I'm gonna hit my 58 degree. Might get a little lower strike on this one and it will run out a little bit. Not too bad. Same club, but now from the rough, I know that this ball's gonna pop up and come in higher, come off higher on the face. My landing spot now wants to change. So if you're picking your club before assessing your lie, you now might not be landing this ball in the right spot. So analyze your lie first. Key tip number one. Tip number two, where to land the golf ball. If you're that person that already has picked the club before assessing anything, and you've got your little obsession with your favorite club, like your 58, you're gonna to get to this ball and your landing spot's probably gonna be about halfway with a 58. Pop it on the green. Runs out, not quite far enough because the strike was a little bit funny. The result's not quite how I wanted it to be. Time to analyze that landing spot before picking your club. And that landing spot generally should be on the closest, flattest part of the green to you. And in this case, that's right in front of me. So I've analyzed my lie, it's lovely. I've now picked the landing spot. The flat point that's closest to me is literally here. Now give yourself a margin for error. I like to give myself on these sorts of shots about a yard to make my ball land in this area and then pick the club that's gonna make the ball run out to the hole. So my landing spot right in front of me here, getting that ball to land on it and letting the club do the rest of the work. Like I haven't had to try at all there. And it's ended up closer than that 58 that I just grabbed without analyzing anything. And that leads us on nicely to the final part, club selection. Once you've analyzed the lie, once you've analyzed your landing spot, that'll pretty much tell you what club you need. So I've got about 15 yards here to the front of the green and a bit of green to work with. So I'm gonna use my pitching wedge. Stats show that lower handicappers are using a wider range of clubs in the short game area. So don't be scared to experiment. Make sure that you have a wide selection of clubs to use. If you're struggling with short game, try not to be that person that just grabs that favorite club of yours. Widen that variety of club selection. Get that landing spot as close to you on a flat part of the green. Analyze that lie because that ball will react differently and practice it to know how far the ball is gonna run when you hit it on certain landing spots. Hope that helps. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. And I hope that that improves your short game for the next season.